This is my RCA Select Division Disc Player or CED Player or Capacitance Electronic Disc Player. And this is actually a very unusual one. It's a demonstration model. It was actually given to me by someone at a um, at the radio club here in Georgia. So, um, and it works great. I mean, I've taken it apart and have it have a look at it, and it's pretty clean in there. So I'll just show you how that works. Let me get a disc. This one is one of my favorites. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of this. Forbidden Planet. It's um, a CED in its case and I can take a CD out of its case but I'll take a broken one out one that doesn't play anymore here hold on a second where is that one oops where did I put that oh, crud. ah I can't find it hold on a second alright I found it now, um, what I'm going to do, you should never ever do to these unless they don't work anymore. And what I mean by that is it'll skip or not play or it'll reject it or some such thing. So what you do to open these is there's a tab in there. I'm going to push it out of the way with a screwdriver. Hold on a second. Get it out of there. Uh, hold on a second. God. They really don't want you to get at these, so hold on. At least back in the day they didn't. I don't think they care now. Alright, I got it. So I, I released the tabs. And inside is actually a record-like thing. Or disc, I should say. Sorry about that. A record-like disc with very tiny grooves. I call them nano grooves. I don't know if there's a real name for them or not, but they're incredibly small. The hole in the middle is about the size of a 45 record hole, I think. And that's what the video and audio is encoded on all this stuff. And it spins pretty darn fast. I forget how fast these actually spin. It's in the hundred or so. Over a hundred RPM. Pretty sure. Alright, so let me put this in. So what I do here is I turn on my television set and I switch my cable switcher to position B from cable box to the RCA select division disc player and I press this power button you get a blank screen and the shutter opens and you get an L which stands for load you put the sleeve in the disc player and it'll take the sleeve from me and it'll extract the disc from the sleeve and spit it back out and now it'll start to run and we must be on an hour here or my clocks are going off and here's the uh, result Yeah. Alright, um, and then you've got all these controls here. You've got visual search. And rapid access. Oops. So that, I skipped five, four minutes into the movie. There you go. And if you want to remove the disc, you press pause reject and as you saw before or may have noticed there is a light here that indicates what side the disc is on so that's side one and this is telling me to unload so I put the sleeve inside takes the disc and puts it back in the sleeve and it's done and then you just deactivate the player by pressing the power button. And, and then I just go back to regular TV by switching from B to A. And that's it. That's my um, Selectivision disc player.